Hi guys, welcome to this fourth tutorial in this series of programming Arduino. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to blink an LED with Arduino. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to use a switch or push button with Arduino. Push buttons and switches are digital input and are widely used in electronic projects as most systems need to respond to user comments or sensors. Reading a switch is very useful because a switch is widely used and can also represent a wide range of digital devices in real world like push buttons, limit sensors, level switches, proximity switches, and even keypad because a keypad is basically a combination of switches. Switches come in various form for different purposes. This is a push button. It makes contact when pushed and breaks contact when released. This is a toggle switch. Moving the lever back and forth opens and closes an electric circuit. This is a slide switch. When you move the slider from one position to the other, the electric contact is closed or open. This is a read switch, which is a magnetically actuated switch. When the switch is exposed to a magnetic field, two ferrous metals inside pull together and the connection closes. In the absence of a magnetic field, the switch opens. And this is a limit switch. When an object comes into contact with the actuator, the device make or break an electric connection. Connecting a switch or a push button to Arduino is straightforward. All we need is a pull-up or even a pull-down resistor. This is a pull-up resistor. It's very important to use it. If there is no resistor, it will be difficult to determine the state of the input pin. This is usually called floating. Let's say the Arduino pin is configured as an input. If there is nothing connected to the pin and the program reads the state of the pin, Will it be high or will it be low? It's really difficult to tell, but with the resistor connected to VCC, it will ensure that the pin is either high or it's either low. In this case, if the switch is open or this push button is not pressed, the Arduino input pin D4 will be high because the current is going to flow from positive supply through the resistor to D4 because there's no path this side. And when our push button is pressed, D4 is going to reach zero because all the current is going to flow through the resistor, through the push button to ground. Generally, a value of 10K should do the job. When you're going to write our code, you're going to see Arduino has got some features to use the internal pull-up resistor. So there's not going to be any need to use an external pull-up resistor. If you want to, you can just enable the internal pull-up resistor. We're going to write a simple Arduino code. When our push button is pressed, the LED is going to switch on for three seconds and switch off. Let us build our project on a breadboard so that we can see how you can physically connect a push button to an Arduino board. The first thing we're going to need is an Arduino. We're going to use the Arduino Uno, but any other Arduino board can be used as well. Just rotate it by 90 degrees clockwise. The second thing is going to be our breadboard. You can also connect the switch directly to the pin of the Arduino board, but we're going to prefer to use an external breadboard. We're going to use the mini breadboard. Then we're going to need two resistors, one push button and one LED. The first resistor is going to be a 470 ohms resistor. It's going to be a current limiting resistor for our LED. So the value is going to be 470. And the second one is going to be our pull-up resistor. The value is going to be 10K. We're going to connect our LED to digital pin 7 of Arduino. Let us use the red color. Pull-up resistor is going to be connected to VCC. And our push button is going to be connected to D4 in this example. Just use yellow color. Just connect our ground as well.
Okay, so this is how you can physically connect this component on a breadboard to Arduino board. The LED is connected to D7 via a 470 current limiting resistor and our push button is connected to D4 using a pull-up 10K resistor. Okay, before we write our sketch, there's something that is very important to understand when we are working with switches. Is a switch debouncing technique. As mechanically, the metal contact of the switch are not perfectly smooth. So when a switch is closed, it doesn't perfectly close immediately. In fact, it bounces open and close so fast before it can stabilize and stay open. So in theory, this is a bounceless switch. When the switch closes, it closes immediately and the current flows through it rise immediately from zero to maximum. But in reality, this kind of switch doesn't exist. With a close-up look with an oscilloscope, it revealed that in practice, the switch bounces open and close for a short period of time before it stabilizes. In normal situation, this bouncing period is so short that it won't even be noticed, but a microcontroller or an Arduino can detect it. There are many ways this can be eliminated in software or in hardware. In software, one can use a counting algorithm where the switch is read periodically, let's say every one millisecond, and it can only be considered to have changed states if it has been in the new state for some number of successive samples, let's say 10, by which time it is considered to have settled. The other method, which is the simplest method, is to use a delay, let's say a 10 millisecond delay, Let's say you read the switch after 10 millisecond delay, then you read it again. If the state of the switch is still the same, then the switch is considered to have settled in that state. So let us write our sketch. We're going to declare three variables, one const int push button, the value is going to be 4. The other one is a const int LED, it's going to be 7. As with the previous tutorial, the first thing is to configure our input and output pins. Pin mode LED, which represents 7, it's going to be an output because we're going to set D7 as an output. The other one is pin mode push button input. Push button represents 4, so we're going to set D4 as an input pin. And in our main loop, this is the code that is going to run repeatedly. We are going to learn a new Arduino instruction, digital read. This function checks whether there is any voltage, 5 volt applied to the pin that you are specifying. In this case, we are specifying pin 4 and it's going to return a value of high or low depending on its finding and it's going to store it in the variable value. The other very important statement that we are going to introduce in this tutorial is the if statement. This is one of the most important instructions in programming languages because it allows a computer like an Arduino to make a decision. After the if keyword, you have to write a question inside this bracket. In our example, we're going to check if the value equals to low when the switch is pressed. So if the result equals to true, then this first block of code will be executed. Otherwise, this block of code will be skipped. You must notice that this symbol is very different from this symbol. This one is used when two entities are compared and returns true or false. But this one is used to assign a value to a constant or to a variable. So in our case, when our switch is closed, this block of code will be executed. So we're going to use a short delay of 10 milliseconds to debounce our switch. Then after 10 milliseconds, we're going to ask the same question whether our switch is still closed and if the switch is still closed then this block of code will be evaluated the first thing we're going to switch on our led we're going to use the arduino function digital write high to our led which is connected to d7 then after three second delay we're going to switch off our led digital write low to d7 this is going to run repeatedly so after our push button is released, value is going to be high. So this condition is going to evaluate to false and this block of code will be skipped. Let us run our simulation. Run. You can see we've got 5 volt 
on D4, because our push button is open, the current flows from VCC to D4. So when I press my button, you can see the LED is on for three seconds, then after three seconds, it's gonna be off. If I press it again, it's gonna do the same, it's gonna be on for three seconds, and after three seconds, it's gonna be off. So if you wanna use the internal pull-up of the Arduino, it's very easy. All you need to do, you don't need to use an external resistor. So we're gonna delete this. On our breadboard, we're gonna also remove this resistor, delete the wire as well. And in our code, all you need to do is to specify that you're gonna use a pull-up resistor on this pin. To do that, you're gonna say pin mode input pull-up. So this is gonna use an internal pull-up resistor. Verify again. Let us run our simulation again. Run. You can see it still work. On for three seconds and after three seconds it's gonna switch off. If you press it again it's gonna do the same thing. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.